Question 27. A car is presently valued at $12,000. It depreciates at the rate of 10% per annum. What will be this value one year later? Alright, good. Pause the video and do this one. Take one minute to do it and come back. Okay, good. What did you get for it? Let's see what happens here. $12,000. It depreciates by 10% per annum. You know that 10% is one tenth. I could say 12,000. One tenth of that is 1,200. Alright. Or I could just work it out. 10 per, per mean divide, cent means 100, off means multiply, 12,000. This will be the drop in value, how much drop of the value of the car. So 100 into 100 goes 1 times 100 into 12,000 goes 120. 10 multiplied by 120 give you 1, 200, all right? Which is the same, 1 tenth, as I said before, of 12,000. So, 12, $1,200 drops off the car. What's the value now? 12,000 minus 1,200. So, I could say, when I'm subtracting, 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. At this point, I could do the borrowing routine and say 0 minus 2 I can't borrow 1 from 2 I get 1 of 1 here 10 minus 2 is 8 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 0 is 1 alright there's an invisible 0 here alright good so it's $10,800 $10,800 so the answer is A but let's look at this thing again about the borrowing I could have said here, hmm, what's going on? All right, let me get rid of this. This came up accidentally. Yeah, I could say here that I'm having 120 minus 12, and I say. 2 minus 0, I can't borrow 1 from 2, I get 1, this becomes 10, 10 minus 2 is 8, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. But, how this, how, what really happened here in the borrowing? Well, I could say then, that the 120, when I change the 2 to 1, what I'm really doing is cutting the 120 into 110, into 110 and 10 because 110 plus 10 gives you 120 and then here I have 12 but I had, I had said 10 minus 2 so let's split the 12 into 10 and 2 this is a plus 10 because I'm saying 110 plus 10 but this you now is minus 10 minus 2 here 10 minus 2, this 10 here is really this, is 10 minus 2 gives you 8, alright, then 1 minus 1, this would be in the tens column here, 1 minus 1 is 0, and 1 minus 0 is 1, so the borrowing really does work, let's examine it again, another way I could do it, 120 minus 12, I could say 110 plus 10 minus 10 minus 2. So I could say now that I have 10 minus 10 is 0. So this is gone. So all I have left is 110 minus 2. So I could say 110 is really 108 plus 2 minus 2. And the 2 minus 2 is gone. 
and I'll leave 108. You could play it, play around with it. Well, um, let's add, don't, don't forget the two zeros here. You could play around it with it in different ways. But um, it's important that if you're going into any of the STEM areas, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, that you have a deeper understanding than most other people, a deeper understanding of the maths and how it really works, all right? And keep up with your understanding and knowledge of these things. So anyway, the answer for number 27 is A.